While everything seemed perfect on the outside, Paula hid a very dark secret. Episodic depression is brought on by an episode. And so a lot of my life, it doesn't touch me. But at some stage of my life, it can. And I can fall down. And as high and as happy as I can be, I can be that low. The triggers came about through me feeling a sense of loss, disappointing someone else, and most of all, rejection. Rejection is something that I can't handle. To add to this, Paula was told she wasn't able to have children, but the doctors were wrong. Jess was a miracle baby. John and I were very, very happy, but I ended up having to go through a 48-hour labour and then I finally followed with a, an emergency Caesar. When living in those days, people frowned upon people that had caesarean births, believe it or not. We were taught that you've got to have a natural birth, no matter what, otherwise you're a failure. Again, disappointing the system, if you like, disappointing what's supposed to be. This plunged her into another terrifying depression. I was crying a lot. I didn't want to go out. I felt ugly. I felt unclean because I had this terrible wound. Jessica on the side, this baby, ended up with colic on top of that. So she didn't sleep. So, and John was living life like everything was just the same. And he was out at the football and he was having a wonderful time. And I was, felt very alone very alone and I just wanted him to come and take care of me. I think in fact I wanted him to tell me that I was still beautiful but it kind of didn't go that way and so I felt forlorn and I felt unworthy and I felt rejected. Jess, terrible heartbreak. You found your mother trying to commit suicide. How did you deal with that? I mean it's tough. I don't think anyone ever thinks, you know, wow, there's your mom and, and how do you deal with that? My first instinct was to call triple O, um, roll her on her side. I mean, it's kind of crazy. I think for her, knowing that I found her like that was probably the, the hardest thing. Um, how did you feel about that, Paula? What plunged you to that desperation in the first place? Uh, John and I were separated and I missed him.